So what is up guys, it is DrewsMC here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 Minecraft tips and tricks. So of course I do always do this series where I try to show you guys the top 5 secret Minecraft tips and tricks. Just some tips and tricks that most people don't know about. They're going to put you one step ahead of your friends in Minecraft, in the Minecraft world. So without further ado, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 Minecraft tips and tricks and that we're going to be looking at today. And hopefully you guys do enjoy the video and if you do, don't forget to leave an awesome like and leave an awesome comment if you have any of your own tips and tricks and i'll be sure to add them in the next video so let's get into today's video if you guys do want to join my notification squad shout out don't forget to subscribe and keep notifications turned on so as you guys can see we are here in our lovely minecraft world now the first tip slash trick that i'm going to be talking about i think i might do more than five because a lot of these i don't know if you would regard them as tips and tricks but some of these are things that you wouldn't know and you're definitely gonna you know once you know these use them in different ways because i'm not that creative but a lot of you guys are really insanely creative so the first thing that most people you know i guess you could say didn't know because i really want to show you this guys this one because this one is absolutely it's really weird like you wouldn't think about this one like when when you think about stuff in minecraft you wouldn't think about it but anyway so i'll show you guys so first one is to do with lava so most people know what lava is most people know what lava can do but most people don't know the actual like sort of physics behind lava and how you can sort of use that so one tip slash trick that you have is that lava actually moves pretty slow now i guess you could say like if, if we know that it's moving very very slow and we can see that when i placed one block down it moved a total of one two three four blocks so we can see that moved a total of four blocks so but what's really interesting is that, you know, I really hate that another sound. That another sound is just absolutely awful. Um, but yeah, but one really, really interesting thing is that what happens is that when you go into the nether, I'll show you guys, this is the same exact thing we just built, is that when you place the lava, it actually moves a lot faster. And as you guys can see, it goes a lot faster further as well so one slash tip slash trick as well is that if you are placing lava in the you know i guess you could say in the nether versus in the you know i guess you could say overworld it goes i guess you could say double the length because in the overworld it went one two three four blocks but then in another it went an additional one two three four blocks so that's i guess you could say a slight secret about lava that most people didn't realize lava is as twice as dangerous flows as twice as far and is as twice as bad in the overworlds in in the in the nether so i know you you of course know that lava is it's, it's more prevalent in the nether like there's a lot more lava in the nether but a lot of people don't realize that lava is much more dangerous in the um you know in, in the nether because you know as you guys can see it flows a lot more faster and it flows ridiculously fast so definitely watch out for the lava and maybe if you're building some sort of lava trap you can use this information knowing that lava only flows four blocks in the green world i'll just call it and it flows eight blocks in the nether so yeah that's a really really cool tip slash trick and yeah when i found this out i was like what because it was like i don't know it was just like it was really weird i don't know i'm surprised i'm surprised it was even um thing but yeah i don't know it's, it's really 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 odd so the next thing that we have here is um let's check my list of awesome awesome stuff so the next one that we have here is this is basically you know gonna save you some time because a lot of people think that this one is true but it isn't true because i don't know why but even i believe this for a long time and even a lot of youtubers used to believe that this was true now it's a very very small tip slash trick or but it is very very helpful so as you guys most people know when you're building a farm a lot of people may have a sugar cane farm now of course you know there is the i guess you could say myth or i guess you could say there is the belief that sugar cane grows faster on sand than it does on um i guess you could say grass now the honest truth is that this actually isn't the case they actually grow at the exact same speed now i'm not going to show you guys the time lapse of this entire thing but just take my word for it now you guys are wondering how am i going to take your word for it Drew's MC? but yeah like i said guys basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that so as i was saying you guys are wondering how do i take your word for it well you guys can just believe me because i've actually done the research this was a myth now i'm not sure why this myth started i'm not sure why a lot of people believed it but sugarcane on grass and sugarcane 
on sand they actually grow at the exact same speed there's no difference there's no preference there's no preferential treatment to sugarcane on different you know sides they all grow at the exact same speed so um of course sometimes you know one might pop up more than the other but a lot of the time it's the exact same speed because a lot of people they'll get sand and they'll create a sugarcane farm because that's honestly what i did as well like if you even check my old survival worlds you'll see that i have a lot of sand there and a lot of sugarcane farms but it doesn't grow fast on either one so stop wasting time getting all sand for the sugarcane because it doesn't grow fast on either one it really doesn't so just make sure you guys do know about that so we're gonna go on to the next tip and trick now the next trip and trick is actually really cool because i really have never seen this material in the overworld or the green world i've never seen this material there i've joined countless of you guys awesome amazing survival worlds and for some reason i never see this material i think i may have seen it once but i just i just generally feel like people don't know that they can do this in the game which is why it's tip slash trick so the first tip slash well the third tip slash trick is uh let's actually go to building blocks and we're just gonna get ourselves some neverwreck and then what we need to go to do is we need to go and get ourselves a uh, chest not a chest we need to get ourselves i can never find the blocks guys i do apologize but yeah a furnace and a crafting table so what you want to do is you want to of course i can just use a bucket of lava but yeah what you want to do is you want to you didn't know this is the tip slash trick is that you didn't know you can actually smelt netherite now i didn't know this before this video that you can actually smelt netherite but what's even more interesting is that not that you can smelt the netherite but it's what that you can do with the materials that you get from what you smelt so one of the things that you actually get from what you smelt is actually nether brick now a lot of people don't know what nether brick is and they don't know what it can be used for but nether brick can actually be used to create nether i'm not sure what it's called guys but i think it's just called nether um blocks i guess you could say um and it can be used yeah nether brick so yeah nether brick can be used to create another brick that doesn't even make sense nether brick can be used to create another brick so yeah and then you can use this to create i guess you could say anything you'd want in your standard world and it's just really interesting and the reason why i feel like it's really cool as well is because it's a one-to-one -one, um i guess you could say furnace so it's not like something that you smell and then you get less of it like it's just the standard one-to-one -one furnace so you take your nether brick and four of these um nether bricks equal i think it's four i think it's four blocks i'll show you guys right now in the crafting table so we go scroll up all the way no that's wood actually my bad guys um i'm not exactly sure where it is guys but i think it says definitely here it's definitely here there as you guys can see so four create one so yeah it, it, it is quite resource intensive so i guess that's probably why i don't see it in most people's worlds because that does take you know i guess you could say 64 blocks to create around 16 blocks so yeah it's definitely um quite resource intensive so if you you're gonna have to collect a lot of never if you want to you know get never brick but the reason it is like that is because never brick is everywhere like never is everywhere you can find nether everywhere like if you go into nether it's literally everywhere so it's not a hard material to find that's why when you smell it it, it kind of does you know use a bit more resources so make sure you're using nether brick to create some stuff in minecraft i don't know what you guys think about that i definitely think that's cool i definitely think that's awesome but yeah so on to the next one right now so the next one that we have here and this one is something that a lot of people don't know as well now i'm not sure um I'm not sure how most people don't know this, but it's it's a really odd tip. Like I've never most of these tips, guys. I've never seen these tips. Like some of the like the videos I did before, most of the tips I just knew straight off the top of my head because you know I just I don't know who taught me them. I th I think um I don't know if you guys know the Syndicate Project, um but yeah he, he did a micro series and I used to watch that. But this guys, this tip right here is this is this one's gonna be a lifesaver because this one is really really cool. This one is this one is I I see people mess this one up all the time and um yeah I, until now um I honestly didn't know so. If we go over to brewing, is it brewing? There we go. You want to make sure you get silk touch, and then you want to make sure. Okay, it's an unknown vault. You want to make sure you put silk touch on shears, and then you didn't know that you can use shears to actually silk touch a web. So let me just go into survival to make sure this works. And um, if I use my shears, as you guys can see, it actually picks up the web. So that's actually a real awesome quick tip slash trick because in survival most times what people do is they'll use a sword they'll use a sword to destroy the web so they'll do this they'll see a web and they'll be like oh haha -ha, yeah we got it but yeah you only get one piece of string from that which is it's not really efficient and um with silk touch shears you actually get the entire web so you can place down the web again and yeah i feel like that is a really really underrated feature because i don't see a lot of people using that nobody really really uses that tip slash trick so 
I definitely feel like that's a cool one. So next one we have here, guys, is this one. This one is definitely going to be overused. I'm going to see a lot of people using this one because this one is so simple, but it's so effective as well. Like definitely, I'm going to be using this as well in my houses and stuff. So what you want to do is um, let me get some mobs. I do think we're playing on easy, but I will um, let me spawn some mobs. So let me actually put it too hard. There we go. So let's say, for example, we had um, let's say we had a house, right? And um, Let's just say that this is the entrance to my house for argument's sake. And um, let's say some mobs uh, frequently used to come into my house. Let's say mobs that keep keep wandering on in my, in my house. And of course, I don't, I don't want that in my house. Who wants mobs in their house? So this is just let's just say that this is the area of my house, right? Um, I'm just using glass so that you can see everything inside. And I know it's, a, it's this is the worst house you've ever seen, all right? But for demonstration purposes, let's just say that this right here is the doorway. That right there is the actual doorway okay that's the doorway all right all right good 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 stuff good stuff so what you need to know is that if you don't want mobs coming in your house all you need to do is place one slab there and another slab there which will only allow players to go through but i'll show you guys because um a creeper might may try to go through can it go through this hopefully it can't go through this because if it goes through this this is gonna this is gonna put this is gonna put um a hole in my entire plan um i do believe that you know if this doesn't work don't worry guys i have another tip slash trick but I probably should have tested this on a video before, but as far as I'm concerned, let me go survival. Um, it should be able to follow me, try to follow me through. It can't follow me through, guys, as you guys can see. It, I don't know why, but it just can't go through the slabs. It just can't. Like, I don't know. Look, I'll spawn a skeleton and it will try to come through and it can't come through, guys. Two slabs. I could easily hop over them, but the skeleton, nope. It is absolutely stuck, guys. So this little contraption here, two slabs one down and one above allowing you to pass through can't allow other mobs to pass through. Now, i don't know why this is the case i don't know why minecraft works like this because honestly it doesn't make sense hey over here um it doesn't make sense it really doesn't make sense guys but i don't know maybe you can tell me maybe you can find out why that makes sense but um it doesn't it just really doesn't so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like on the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i post daily awesome awesome minecraft secret tips and tricks and i guarantee most people didn't know this one because this one i recently found this out and i was like what so yeah definitely um leave a like on the video definitely subscribe to the channel definitely make sure you comment down below any tips and tricks you have because you will definitely get a shout out and if i didn't shout you out just make sure you comment it again and i will give you a shout out again so let's just see don't forget to leave a like on the video, don't forget to subscribe, and until the next time, this has been the top 5 tips and tricks, and until the next video, it's going to be peace from me.